All right, all right. So look at the monster. Wow. And there's a little lantern fish. Fun fact, lantern fish like this, those are all female. The males, when they mate, they become super tiny and attach forever. There's what looks like a vulture. Eyeballs, yikes. They're all different colors too, look. Green, brown, kind of a light greener blue, darker blue. Ah, so funny. Kind of creepy, yeah. Well, that's the whole point, right? It's Boo Stew. Written by Donna L. Washington. Illustrated by Jeffrey Ebler. Which I may be saying wrong. But I love it. There's the mushrooms. So, field guides, right? Fe uh, never pick wild food that you aren't absolutely certain is safe. Because mushrooms can look one way and be safe in one area, but if you travel somewhere else across the country or across the world, they're dangerous there. So, yeah, be careful. Ooh, let's see. A bunch of ingredients. Ooh, snail slime. Ooh, look, they, they go and then they drip down. Fingernail clippings. Ew. Belly button lint. Ew. Dandruff from your hair. Yucky. Oh my goodness. Got runny cheese, stinky cheese, moldy cheese, Venus flytrap drool, eel electricity, like old trashy food, hippo sweat, monkey sneeze, and crocodile tears. Crocodile tears is a phrase. It's also used to come for um, like false tears. They're crying because their eyes are dry, not because they're sad. Ooh, look, broken wishbones. Ooh, looks like ginger. That's pretty normal. Eagle screech. Whee! Okay, some, some really cool ingredients. Oh my god, boo stew. I wonder if those are fireflies. They look like jelly beans. Alright. This book is dedicated to my co-authors, my son Devin, a picky eater who enjoys peanut butter and turkey sandwiches. Hmm. My daughter, Dareth, who will likely, who will gamely try almost anything. DLW. For Isabel and, Oli and Olivia, J.E. Published by the Peach Tree Publishing Company. And the publisher's website is peachtree-online.com. And uh, let's see here. Illustrations were rendered in acrylic paint on paper. The scares were created in ink, painted with compressed air on a separate piece of paper, and then added with Adobe Photoshop. So, these guys were made with ink and compressed air. That's pretty cool. Because I think it's those are the scares. Look, gator snot. Ew. That's a nice gator to let her do that, though. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Well, good thing I'm not a monkey or so. She'd have to harvest that. <coughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Boar hair. Snip, 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 snip. Oh, his hair's uneven. He's like, hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Boo Stew. Written by Donna L. Washington. Illustrated by Jeff Ree Ebler, published by Peachtree Atlanta. Oh, this looks fun. Okay. There were always scares in Toad Suck Swamp, but Curly Locks didn't pay a much mind. The scares kept to themselves. They only woke up at night, and the most annoying thing about them was their hooting and hollering. So these little little marks, these apostrophes, show that something has been removed. So M is because we're not putting in the TH in them, or hollering, no G, hollering. Oh, look, the toad is sucking on. He's, he's not eating something gross. He's got a bow tie and a milkshake. 
with a cherry on top. I think this is a scare though. Oh look, so these boats are powered by wind. Oh, she's carrying a lot of stuff, huh? Oh look, there's even creatures here. Look, they got chumpy mouths, chomp, chomp, chomp. They must be pretty relaxed though for them to have stuff on them. The only thing Curly Locks truly cared about was cooking. Well, they got a drying line with a yellow dress and a shirt. Blue shirt. Oh, look at these folks. Oh my goodness. Do they look happy? Mm-mm. She looks positively terrified, and he's not so sure. Sadly, the tones, townsfolk ran the other way when she offered them bat wing brownies, cat hair cupcakes, or toad eyed toffees. Aww, they just running away. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably have cat hair in my, my cupcakes, but <laughs> I don't want there to be cat hair in there. It was disappointing, but her mama just said, do what your heart loves. So her heart loved to cook. Aw, poor little Curly Locks, just trying. She's trying, you know? One night, Curly Locks left a pan of lizard skin lasagna cooling on the windowsill. When she returned, the dish was licked clean. Ooh, so here's the lizard skin lasagna. <laughs> Somebody sure likes it. Ooh, I like the skeleton. She peered out into toad suck. Somebody out there likes my cooking. Mm-hmm. They do. That is not a happy frog. I don't think, I think he thinks he's going to get cooked. The next morning, the mayor was singing to himself as he sat down to breakfast when an itty-bitty scare opened the window and plopped right into the middle of his pancakes. It waggled its hairy little head. Oh my goodness. Oh look, he even wears a hat <laughs> with his bunny slippers. Look, he has a top hat and bunny slippers. He must love that hat. Goodness. So compressed air must have made all, all the squiggly hair for him, huh? But look, oh, and they're knocking the teapot and the syrup. Oh, and his little he's just right there in the middle. I like the flowers. Isn't those pretty? I think those are larkspur. The mayor lit a blue streak out of that house and nearly knocked down the blacksmith. Oh, the blacksmith is a good three times his size. That must be quite the, the whoosh. Oh, look, he's wearing a hat and a little coat. It's so cute. Whoa well, there, mayor. What's got you so shook? There's an itty bitty scare sitting in the middle of my pancakes. What's one of them critters doing out in the daylight? The bit blacksmith asked. Who cares? The mayor trembled. I just want it out of my kitchen. The blacksmith laughed. Oh, I'll knock that itty bitty scare into next Tuesday. I, I wouldn't go in there if I was you, the mayor whispered. Well, you ain't me. The blacksmith stuck out his chest and strutted into the mayor's house. He sure is proud of himself, isn't he? Well, I mean, to be fair, that huge black hat, that hammer's even bigger. I just can't get over how cute this is. Look how cute the little scare is. He's like, don't mind me, folks. Just a normal person. <laughs> Oh, they're the scares finishing off the pancakes and the syrup. The itty bitty scare was sitting in the middle of a big old mess on the mayor's table. Oh, look, he threw an egg on the wall. And they must have smashed some of the fruit because goodness, it's red down there. The blacksmith was getting ready to snatch that critter up by the ear when he felt a tap, 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 tapping on his shoulder. Oh, look at that. That's a big scare. Get your boo, get your bong, get your goo, get your gong. 
That was no good. Oh, there's an egg on the on the chaise lounge. Goodness grief. The blacksmith cut out of that house and ran smack dab into the chicken rancher. Why y'all making such a fuss over one scare? Asked the kitchen or the chicken rancher. Because it's in my kitchen. The mayor snapped. T -t Two scares, stammered the blacksmith. The second one, the second is bigger than the fir first. Bah, said the chicken rancher. All I ever do is hoot and holler. Don't you fret none. I'll handle it. Look at that. He got, whew, he got long, 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 long shoes with lime green socks. I like how his shoes and his vest match. It's nice. Poor fella. He, he got his glasses back on. Good. Oh, he has a chicken with him, too. I guess what kind of chicken rancher would he be without his without a chicken coming along for the ride? Maybe this is Mrs. Chicken Rancher. She's got a chicken in her head. <laughs> and in her little pocket, she's got some little chicks. One, two, three. Oh, look, I like how the scare is just like, Whoa, what is going on, fellas? Don't mind me. And he's riding a chicken. I thought he was holding it, but no, he's not even touching the ground. He's riding a rooster. I wouldn't go in there if I was you, warned the blacksmith. Well, you ain't me. The chicken rancher lifted his chin and swaggered into the mayor's house. All right. Look at that. I love I just, I just love the chickens in this situation. He's riding a chicken. That one's riding her. That one's on his shoulder like a little parrot. Aw. And this one's just like, hold me, mama. Of course, the mayor put his hat back on. Very important that he has his hat. Hat and sash, even though he's wearing a bathing robe and probably bunny slippers still. Oh, he's got a rope. Rope for wrangling. Lickety split. That chicken rancher snapped up the itty bitty scare by a tuft of his hair. Whoops, sorry. And lassoed the other one with his rope. You scares don't scare me, he roared. The house started a shaking. The rancher's knees started a quaking. I thought he's got this one by the back of the neck, like a like a little rascally kitten. Oh, and they're eating a table too. I guess the the scare's not making it messy, huh? Doomp, doomp, womp, doomp, doomp, womp. Gitchy boo, gitchy bone. Get you goo, get you gone. Ooh, it's big. It's too big to fit in the house, even. Oh my goodness, that one's big. I like his like nose mouth because he's got like a tooth. Is that a nose or is that part of his mouth? What do you think? Huh? Okay. Yeah, look, he's got a big grin. He just looks real friendly. Oh my gosh, the roof's coming off. Oh my goodness. The chicken rancher's going for a dive. The chicken rancher nearly flew out of that house. There are three of them, he hollered. The last one's huge. Stories about the scares spread like a kerosene fire. Kerosene is a type of fuel. Um, it's it's kind of like gasoline. Let's get what the, the scene name is. So, that is to say, it spread a lot really quickly. Well, she's still got all her fishes and her vulture. She even has a lizard walking along with her. So I guess she doesn't eat all of them. Doesn't make them all for food, huh? Curly Locks was heading into town when she saw folks running through the streets. Hmm, I wonder why they're running through the streets. What do you think? Because the scares! <laughs> of course. Where y'all going? She yelled. Their scares are wrecking the mayor's kitchen! The dressmaker hollered back. Curly Locks remembered the lizard skin lasagna that was licked clean from her windowsill. Hmm, she thought. I bet nobody's tried cooking for him. I better get over there right away. She's going to cook for him. Here's the dressmaker. I like how she's just riding her, her dress form. <laughs> like it's a scooter or something. Let's see here. All right. 
boop. A frightful din was coming out of the mayor's house when Curly Locks arrived. Easy there, little lady, the mayor called. There's three scares in there, the blacksmith added. I hear them. Curly Locks replied, I'm going to make them something to eat. Bless your heart, said the innkeeper. That don't sound like a good idea. Maybe it is, the barber exclaimed. Her cooking would drive anything away. Oh my goodness, Barbara, that is rude. Could anything could be driven away by her cooking? Mm-hmm. Rude. But all right, maybe that's... It's definitely not to their taste, certainly. All right. Curly Locks walked up the front steps. I wouldn't go in there if I was you, yelled the chicken rancher. Well, you ain't me. And with that, Curly Locks clutched her basket, squared her shoulders, and marched into the house. Oh, look at that determined face. He's still riding the chicken over here. <laughs> She's like trying to cover her eyes. He's holding on and carried by the mayor. And the mayor is wearing his bunny slippers still. I love his bunny slippers. They're so cute. Mayor has got some good, good posture that he's carrying the blacksmith. That's, that's some good strength. He's definitely not skipping arm day. His leg's pretty skinny for leg day, though. All right. Let's see. All right. So there's, broken, there's banana peel. There's broken stuff all over. Okay, she must have brought a lot of ingredients. The door shut behind her, and the scares got quiet. Curly Locks peeked into the kitchen. It was a frightful mess. She put on her big belly pot on the pot-bellied stove. I oh, put her big belly pot on the pot-bellied stove, took out possum grease and toadstool, and got to work. The cupboard burst open and an itty-bitty scare jumped out. Get your boo, get your bum, get your goo, get your gong. Box of bones, swamp gas, teeth, some sort of glow worm. Curly Locks didn't bat an eye. I'll go if you like, but if I do, you'll never get a taste of my famous boo stew. Ooh. It looks like it's having fun. It's like teasing her or something. Boo stew? Ooh. The itty bitty scare sat down on the table and banged its spoon, spoon, bowl and spoon together. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, uh, uh said Curly Locks. First, we clean off the table. Then, we wash our hands. Curly Locks was adding powdered beetle and lizard spit to the pot. Then she felt a tap, tap, tapping on her shoulder. Get your boo, get your bone, get your goo, get your gone. Curly Locks stiffened, but didn't let on that she was startled. I'll go if you like. But if I do, you'll never get a taste of my famous boo stew. I guess there's just like a leg sticking out. <laughs> you very little lizard friends is very startled. So oh, even the fish looks startled. Boo stew. Woo. The middling scare clapped his scaly hands. Yeah. Clean the floor first, said Curly Locks, then set the table. Curly Locks added moose ear broth, toenail clippings, and gnat juice. Yeah, he sees. He's setting the table, and so is the little one, even though there's a big chomp out of it. <laughs> See, it got, look, that mess has been cleaned up. Thump, thump, whomp, thump, thump, whomp. Get you, boo. But, uh, hold on, wait, here we go. The biggest, thumpiest, wompiest scare of them all came on gnashing his scare teeth, a waggle in his scare claws, and clomping his scare feet. Gitchy boo, gitchy bone, gitchy goo, gitchy gone. Ooh, I didn't realize the kitchen tent was right by the stairs, too. Curly Locks gripped her spoon so tight it nearly snapped in two. I'll go if you like, 
but if I do, you'll never get a taste of my famous boo stew. Boo stew. That big scare licked its jowls in anticipation. Clean the ceiling, please. By the time the kitchen was put right, the stew was piping hot and ready to eat. Curly Locks took a taste and smiled. I hope y'all are hungry, because this might just be the best batch of boo stew east of the Mississippi. Well, look how happy they all are. They're like, mm -hmm. All right, so she got the big pot. She's putting out bowls for them. Those scares ate until they were full as ticks in high summer. They licked their fingers. They licked their toes. They licked each other's toes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I like how this one's like a little kitty cat at this point. That <laughs> sounds looking for the whole thing. Curly Locks didn't mind their sorry manners, which is to say they did not have manners at all, really. But they listened to her, so that was plenty good of them. Why, she'd never seen a single soul enjoy her cooking, so. Carry yourselves on back to Toad Suck Swamp, cooed Curly Locks, and I'll make boo stew and lots of other things for you and your friends every night. All right, back off to St Toad Suck Swamp they going. I like how this one's prancing, and they are reflecting down as they go on the water. Some say that was the finest deal ever struck in those parts. The scares got themselves a heap of delicious food. With their bellies full, they didn't spend all night hooting and hollering. The townsfolk got plenty of sleep now that Toad Suck was quiet. The mayor got a fine tale to tell for years to come, and Curly Locks, little chicken rider, She got a load of hearty eaters who appreciated her cooking. That was the best thing of all. Oh, they all happy. Look, this even like a wormy one. That one's flying. This one's big and bowls. Oh, look how fun she's having there. I mean, walking over. So she made lots of friends who love her cooking. Oh, yep, yeah, the same style. Oh, moldy cheese was the one we couldn't see. Here's a picture of the author and illustrator. Uh, I loved it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for listening and you have a great day.